and Dr. Kerfus, you are recognized for five minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Lada, uh, Vice Chairman Kinzinger, uh, Ranking Member Schakowsky, and other members of the committee. I do appreciate uh, the opportunity to testify here before the subcommittee. So I'm Tom Kerfus. I'm at Georgia Tech. Uh, the difference between my colleagues here and myself is our product are our students. Uh, for example, mechanical engineering produces about 3 to 4 percent uh, of all the mechanical engineers in the nation. Uh, and these kids are extremely capable and really moving a lot of the IoT forward. Um, I have spent a lot of time in manufacturing. I grew up actually in a plant uh, in uh, Congresswoman Schakowsky's uh, district, uh, went to high school there and so forth, a small family plant. So I've been in production for over 40 years. Um, and if you look at it, you know, we talk about the fact that, yes, it's going to take a lot of money to, to censor up, as we would say it, but there are already a lot of sensors out there, and they're providing free information, you know, to us and so forth. So there are a lot of sensors. They're generating big data. The companies know this, and we're starting to track this. My team works with two major U.S. OEMs uh, in automotive, a major OEM in aerospace, and several large-scale suppliers to figure out what their digital manufacturing platforms need to look like. Um, and basically, all the data are there for the taking, and how are we going to make use of them, right? And then the question is, what can we do with it? Well, certainly we can improve efficiency. I think we've heard about that. Um, we can lower our energy consumption. We can lower our waste. You know, this is very clear. It's been, it's been demonstrated time and time again. I've spent a lot of time actually over at the BMW plant in South Carolina. Um, tremendous opportunities there in terms of moving it forward. Um, a safer workplace. Certainly, the more sensors you have out there, you know what's going on. You can make sure that your employees are safe, right? And you can make sure that those machines keep them safe and actually make their jobs easier and more reliable. Um, but perhaps a very important point that we need to really understand is that this capability allows us to respond rapidly to the changing markets and the changing technologies that are out there. And those technologies and markets are changing rapidly. It took about 70 years for the telephone to become ubiquitous. It took about 10 years for the mobile phone to come ubiquitous, to become ubiquitous. It took about a year for the smartphone to become ubiquitous. This is how fast things are changing. So we can have a safer place, a place that responds better, and what industry doesn't want to respond better and faster? What do we get out of the Internet of Things for manufacturing? First of all, there are better paying jobs. There's no doubt about it. But I will caution you, and I'll say this again, it requires a much more skilled workforce and a better trained workforce. But it's not impossible to do. I think we just saw it over here, and I'll wave mine around too. People are used to the smartphone. This is not something that they're afraid of. We can get them to use it, and actually we're using smartphones in production operations day in and day out at a number of different corporations. Um, we get a stronger, more productive manufacturing base, which is always good for the nation's economy and national security. And we basically excel in the strengths of the culture of the United States of America. We are innovative, right? We have some of the best ideas, and what this technology allows us to do, IOT for MFG, as we call it, it allows us to get these ideas out there rapidly, and not just out there, but to scale them in terms of the market. And you know what? Somebody else wants to copy us? Come get us, because by the time you copy us, you know, we'll have our next technologies out there. And we can see how fast these things are, are moving along. So how do we get there? Basically, we have to look at workforce development. I heard cybersecurity a number of times. This is critical. You know, people have, and, and we've actually seen in companies where they say, no, we're going to do this because of cybersecurity issues. They have now come to the realization that we have to do this if you're going to compete. And we're looking at cybersecurity. We have a, a lot of the, for example, national labs. NIST is doing some great work in cybersecurity analysis and so forth in conjunction with our universities and a variety of companies. So it's there, we're thinking about it, we're working on it, and we're beating the bad guys in most cases. We have to develop that infrastructure to make sure that that broadband connectivity, I heard that, right, that is so important. Again, the low-cost labor areas, yes, you see they're shiny new factories, but a lot of the low-cost labor areas don't have that type of connectivity. We can leverage that, we can make use of that, that is where we can compete. Um, we also need to take a look at our universities, right? How do we leverage our universities? How do we leverage our national labs, places like NIST, and bring them together? I heard the National Network for Manufacturing Innovation, Manufacturing USA. This is where companies are coming together to really move things forward for the United States of America. And this is where we can really leverage these things. So basically, this is going to allow us to rapidly address 
a changing market, not just what people want, but what the technology is when it comes out there. The bottom line is IoT for manufacturing, it's going to grow. It's going to grow high-end jobs. What that basically means, not just workforce development, workforce training, not training the next generation workforce, but training the current generation workforce. It can be done. We can't compete on the low-end jobs. We just can't. Right? But we can compete on the high-end jobs, and people are not afraid of the technology. It is amazing. You know, we're doing Pokemon out in the factories right now, and they're tracking things, and they love it. Okay? Um, and their reward might be to get off a couple of hours early on a Friday afternoon. But it allows us to grow the national economy, to grow key sectors of the national economy, high-tech sectors, to strengthen our national security, to make sure that we are able to move forward in a rapid and nimble way. Thank you very much.